Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP, who's at work right now. But let's get it done. Ultimate Madness 5, second round. You got some battles coming up. It's four battles that are going down. You have Rum Nitty vs. Swamp, Real Sick vs. Fonz, JC vs. Ice, and Truffaut vs. She Happens. Uh, the favorites to win the whole thing, you know, people pr probably know who those are. And then you got some people that could, you know, slide through and get days off too. So, um, Rum Nitty vs. Swamp. So, Rum Nitty comes into this battle after battling Real Name Brandon in a one round battle. I felt like Real Name Brandon should have no showed, not have been there, been a wall, been where Osama bin Laden was hiding out. He should not have done it because to beat Rum Nitty in a one round battle, which is two minutes and 30 seconds, you are easily at a competitive disadvantage. And I hope that Real Name Brandon got something real nice for doing this. He should hopefully get to dope name or a dope battle on a dope card because, yeah, he got smoked. Um, Real Name Brandon had a pretty good round with some material where he could have fought against Rum Nitty, but Rum Nitty was on a different type of mission. And then Geechee Gotti lost, the only person that he would have split bread with in a tournament like this. So now it's all Rum, it, it's Rum Nitty's for the taking is the way he's trying to look at this thing. Um, Rum Nitty's not battling every week. He's not doing the Danny thing. He's not bad. He's not, you're not going to see Rum Nitty on every fucking card. You're not about to see him doing that. You're about to see him focused on just what's going on that's in front of him. Swamp comes off his battle with Shotgun Shug. I felt like Swamp won. I did like it. Uh, I have to drive. I tell Smack I can't fly. I have to drive. The only thing I'm going to get straight after this battle is my alibi. Uh, he's going to need to do something better than most of the battles that we've seen him on or in to this point. Besides the Your Honor joint and maybe the twerk, which twerk was choking and stumbling through the shit. So, I mean, I don't even really know if that's going to work. Listen, Swan, I hope you got your affairs in order because Rum Nitty is not the one to play with. He, and the, the style that he uses, that punch for punch for punch for punch for punch, and that, like, the punches that he's going to be coming up with and the name flips that he's going to have for you are going to be a lot. Two weeks is a very short time to prepare for someone who can punch, punch, punch at a high level. Um, Rum Nitty, and then when you put a little crowd in there, you add a little spice to the rice that's going to react to those punches. It, it, it just gets it gets different, you know what I'm saying? Um, Swamp, I, I, I definitely want to see you go far, I see you do good in this tournament, but, but, but a matchup with Rum Nitty is nasty work. And I seen Salute to Piper Boy Williams, he was saying earlier that, you know, niggas is, fuck the flow, they jacking our slang. I seen the same shit happen to Kane with the, he said that, you know, Vada Flies was the first one that brought the nasty work term to battle rap and niggas is trying to run off with. I seen people agreeing, people disagreeing, who cares? I'll say it like this though. I got a lot of slogans. He got smoky. I want to know what happens. I'm going to tell you what happens. That was crazy out the gate. Uh, if it ain't nice, put it in rice. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a thousand of them. So, I don't claim anyone. You know, I heard some people say, oh, Cortez. I did see Cortez was saying nasty for years. Nasty and work together. A lot of niggas in New York say it. I say it too. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nasty work. I'm going to keep on saying ain't a nigga going to stop it. Nasty work. Salute to Piper Boy Williams and all the niggas. I seen niggas was this green and green. I don't really give a fuck. But back to this. Um, So you got Swamp versus Rum Nitty. I have Rum Nitty winning this battle 2 1, if not 3 0. I'm sorry. Uh, Maybe Swamp could pull off the upset of the tournament again. I did bet on Swamp to beat Dot. He beat Dot. Dot. Ain't paid me yet. I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's cash. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, that's another story for you. That's why I really like betting on battle rap because once niggas don't win, you know, it gets a little hazy. But anyway, real sick versus Fonz. Another dope battle off the card. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, though. In the first round, real sick or Fonz, they both were serviceable. Uh, real sick beat Stumbles, but honestly, I feel like if Stumbles would have got through all of his material, it would have been a way closer battle. Uh, I liked Fonz second and third versus Prestavia, but I had Prestavia winning the first. Uh, they both are going to need something that I didn't see from. This is $100,000, you know what I'm saying? All the call I got, call I got, call I got, call it so I can't spoil it. This is $100,000, money. $100,000 is life changing money. It can help somebody get a house, it can help you start a business, it can help you get a job of debt, it can help you do mad shit. You have to blow the stage away. Like, you got to have 
life change. Like, if you have a battle with someone in a tournament for a hundred thousand dollars and don't nobody remember nothing you said, like, can't get off. Like, just oh, and in the third round he had a seatbelt line, or in this round he said thirty under the four yesterday. Like, if you gotta have something, bro, you cannot just come up there and just be regular. You know what I'm saying? Just be regular, regular degula and think that that's gonna hold it down in a tournament that's worth a hundred thousand. Cause you're gonna get to somebody who's not gonna be regular. One of y'all gonna get to someone who's not gonna be regular and then it's gonna be a different movie starring different actors. I think both are very talented, but uh, Fonz has the experience as far as with tournaments, you know what I'm saying? Like he won a tournament before. Uh, real sick, you know, a lot of people try to give him flack saying he don't punch, he just use these rhythmic flows, you know. I be breaking them down, I'm gonna blink of the ground, I'm gonna shoot him in the sky, he's on the way to the ground. I get it, but at the same time, he does have dope pockets and flows, and he was punching a little bit in the joint versus uh, Stumbles. I think because Stumbles was so better, was way better than anybody envisioned him being that. I'm not a morning person, you know what I'm saying? I don't cry when my ops died, I'm not a morning person, and different lines like that. Like, Stumbles has talent. And I'm, I'm even saying it, because I had said before, I know I got one line from Stumbles that I remember from any of his fucking battles. But when he came out, he showed that he can actually rap and battle rap. He just got to get it together and get past the name. I, he should change his name, too. I, I don't care what he changes it to, but Stumbles and battle rap, that shit is, how is it going to work? Like, you got the, like, even Real Sick used it against you. Like, you got the craziest name that you could have for a battle rapper as in Stumbles. But, um, Fonz... Real Sick had tougher competition. Fonz beat Prestavia, and I don't even remember anything she said either. But I'm gonna be honest with you, no hate. I, 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 you know what I'm saying, I like what she's doing, you know what I'm saying, she's getting cosigns, gun titles, who, who, I felt like she was in above her head anyway. She had did nothing to earn being in a 100,000 tournament on URL. She hadn't even had a URL battle yet to be in a $100,000 tournament on URL. I thought that was insane from the beginning. But when Stumbles landed in the tournament, I knew it was literally a narrative because he had to fight with Snake Eyes, so you know, he'll probably, he's gonna battle Snake Eyes. I, I heard that, I pretty much know he's gonna battle Snake Eyes on one of these off weeks. Probably the week before the $100,000 battle, maybe not, that's known. But the week before, like the two weeks from now, him and Snake Eyes will battle. If they battle against announced, don't be fucking surprised. Um, but I, I didn't feel like she did anything to earn that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I'm not taking away from what she's done as a battle rapper, please. Because I know y'all love to take clips and just use that to drive your point home. If you're going to take anything, take the fact that I don't think that on a URL level or the Queen of the Ring level, she has done anything to get past other people like a 40 Bars, like a Yoshi G, like mad other people who have put in work to earn a spot. That's all I'm saying. You can call it like you call it. I'm gonna get off of it because I don't want niggas to be like, oh, you hating me. I'm not hating, my nigga. Like, I'm not in the twin. Um, I got Fonz winning 2 1 versus Real Sick. Uh, JC versus Head Ice. Listen, <laughs> I told Showtime SP that when Ice get in here, hold on, hold on, hold on, man, hold on, man, hold on, man. Um, he's gonna be able to make a little noise, but the noise stops versus JC. I don't even want to drag this prediction out. I rock with Head Ice, y'all know that. Um, but JC is JC. I seen JC win his last two, three battles in a row without even breaking a sweat. Like the shit, uh, I don't play no matter where I'm at. Ben Simmons, like him versus C3, him in his last joint that he had on the tournament. Like JC is not losing right now. Like that's just not gonna happen. And it's gonna get dark for other people too. That's the crazy thing. Like JC's not, this is not gonna be JC's last stop in this tournament. JC is going to continue to, to, to steamroll people. And now he has a chance to win a tournament. You know what I'm saying? He just be O Red. You know, O Red was doing that shit that he normally be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the matic grip, the fireman, I pull up and wedge. When the ladder lift, you get it. I pull up, I aim, I wedge. When the ladder lift, he got mad at me when I tweeted that shit. But it's the fucking truth. The nigga be repeating all his fucking bars like we ain't get him the first. 10 times he said him, and now he's home. But anyway, uh, I got I got JC winning versus Head Ice. I don't want to drag it out more than it needs to be. Uh, JC is just JC. Ice is going to need something that we ain't seen from him maybe since like the Big K battle. I, who going to stop Ice? I done stop life, says stop lights and shit like that. He going to need some really effective work because uh, JC do what they like now. 
Now, Ice will win a face-off versus JC. I'll tell you that. They, they, they don't do it for JC. Don't do no face-off with Ice, my nigga. Just don't even show up. It's not worth it. Because the way he talks, the way, listen, for him, like, like, what are you doing here, my nigga? Like, niggas like you, we send to the store. When they come back from the store, we send them back. Like, he's going to talk. He'll talk to you crazy. So don't do that. Just show up, rap, and win. If that's the case, if it's just raps, and nobody has no hiccups or stumbles, you know, it's just two. Another thing is it's two weeks to prepare. Uh, two weeks to prepare is a very short time in battle rap, and, you know, it's going to take a good effort from Ice, you know what I'm saying, to even make it close, but if you want me to be honest with you, I got JC winning. Um, I got JC winning all three rounds, too, and I got JC going pretty far in this tournament. Might win the whole damn thing, just saying. Um, Trufo versus Sheed happens. Uh, Trufo had a big win versus Geechee Gotti um, in the first round. I'm not from 60 Thursday, don't you ever try to dance me. But I still hit a crip with a mat. I'm just keeping it 55th Street. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I mentioned earlier in the blog, I said, yo, you gotta have things that people remember. I don't got no notes or no quotes or nothing from the last battle. But I know what Trufo said because that was a hundred, he was spitting $100,000 bars like I'm hungry. Yo, the battle last time, he put his belt down and Surf put $2,500 extra down. I said respectfully, I don't think Trufo makes $2,500 a battle. So to see $2,500 extra in front of him, I know Geechee Gotti makes more than $25,000. So to see somebody getting $2,500 and you, to see, to see $2,500 on the floor that you don't make against somebody who's making 10 times more than you, he has nothing to lose. That's why Truefoe came in there with that killer instinct, that, that savage mentality. A man's from Chicago, Chirac, if you don't know, ask about him. Ask about the Folk Corner Hustlers. Ask about the GDs. Ask about the BDs. Ask about Lamron. Ask about O-Block. Ask about Wick City. Ask about Jaro City. Ask about, ask about Southside. Ask about Chicago. Ask about Chicago in general. Niggas will fucking tell you how they give it up out there. Salute to all of the shots too. Um, but what I will say, Hyde Park, all that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't forgetting nobody north side, south side, west side, south side, Chicago, all that shit, man. Um, but what I will say is this. Um, he's battling against She Happens. She Happens, you know, he's got a lyrical pen. He's very animated, uh, you know, Bill Collector animated style, you know what I'm saying? That's a little bit who people compare him to when, it's, when it is what he does. Um, he battled Nun Nun, and just to be honest, I've seen the Nun Nun battle more than once. I didn't feel like he won. I felt like Nun Nun won two, if not every single round of that battle. But with that being said, he law he he still won. So if he still won, he's battling against Truefoe, who already won uh, his battle, and they battled before, and Truefoe won in that battle. Um, and this one right here, I got Truefoe winning again. Just gonna be honest with you. The hunger is there. The intensity is there. The intangibles are there. The gangster presence is there. Uh, you know, he's gonna be on his he's gonna be on his heels, you know what I'm saying? He feels like and I feel like if you beat the number one contender or one the top two, top three out of the, the top three contenders in this tournament might have been Geechee Rum J C, however you wanna flip him, and he beat one of them. You know what I'm saying? I said I felt like at this point in Geechee Gotti's career, he's done so much. When you've done as much as Geechee Gotti has done, your career highlight is just another day at the office for me. So what I'm saying is Truefoe's career night, which is showing up against somebody like a Geechee Gotti, is just another night at the office for Geechee. Like he literally was just going to say, okay, you got four battles for me and I can win another hundred bands? Of course I'll do it. That's exactly the mentality that I felt like he took going into that shit. Like, yo, I'm going to get paid to battle anyway. I'm going to get flew out here. I'm going to chill. I'm going to win these four battles. I'm popular. I'm going to win. But then when you're facing a stone cold killer that ain't never won nothing like Truefoe, you you hit situations like him. And Geechee got it respected Truefoe and gave him props and admiration for winning. But uh, you know, it was what it was. But overall, I do have Truefoe winning. I have JC winning. I have Fonz winning, and I have Rum Nitty winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I'll tell you that much. But uh Salute to everybody that's on the card, you know what I'm saying? Bring your A game. If you don't feel no way about it, prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I did. Like I said, I watched Sheet Happens versus None None again, and I still had None None winning, but it doesn't take away anything from Sheet Happens. Because I seen Sheet Happens in the battle, and I was really impressed. Him versus Luke Castro. I was really impressed with the shit that he did in that joint. So he's got talent, and he can make it, he can do his thing. But if you're asking me to pick, I, that's, that's who I got. And it is what it is. But you already know what to do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Gang, gang.